the government is at it again, trying to silence people's opinions and ideas by trying to take control of social media. There is a big risk to influencers having an opinion. A lot of people with a lot of followers following their every word. Dangerously ignorant people, violent people, racist, homophobic, sexist people. Do I think people should be censored though? No. Even though there is a need to stop the spread of misinformation, that will also prevent the spread of the truth. It would also prevent people from having important discussions about difficult topics and learn from their mistakes, share information, and call each other out on our bullshit. Why do you think people are so easily manipulated to begin with? Big Brother is a toxic helicopter parent, not letting the people see the errors of their ways so they can learn, discouraging people from questioning their authority and not letting them think for themselves. And the government has representatives that lie. Who's going to keep them in check? Where was the government when representatives of the vaccine said that you can't transmit the virus if you're vaccinated? Or that the vaccine protected you from severe symptoms and long COVID? What about when they push lockdowns and high rates of suicide, drug abuse, and domestic violence increase, but they let people get on planes and ride public transport? No, I don't think the government knows how to protect anyone but themselves. <laughs> By silencing people, especially dangerously ignorant influencers, you leave room for distrust. Telling people what to think in the past worked because most people were dumber. But now we're in a shift of consciousness and more and more people are beginning to recognize the red flags. And they're asking questions and vague answers and thoughtless explanations are no longer going to cut it. Silencing the people during this time is going to create more and more tension between the government and the people. Yes, we do have a lot of people in the world who are easily manipulated, act irrationally to rumors and unstructurally founded information, they're ignorant, educationally malnourished, and react impulsively on the words of people they admire without thinking. We saw this with the COVID pandemic and it wasn't the first time. If we look at history, neither the public or the government have a great track record. Nonetheless, people have a voice and deserve to be heard. So I think it's important that even the most ignorant people People speak up on the internet so that they can be challenged and set an example of. Free speech on public platforms allows people to face the opposition, having the opportunity to recognize when they're wrong, take accountability, learn from their mistakes, and have a record of it for all time. It's important for people to see that not everyone believes what they believe, because they will at some point be forced to acknowledge that they may be wrong. That's how we learn. We aren't born having all the answers. It's important that we share information and hold each other accountable for our words and actions. It makes us stop and think, hey, am I missing something? Let me go check. Let me get an expert opinion. The more effort we put into being better investigators that look at the details, ask the right questions, the smarter we will become and the more resilient we will be against being taken advantage of. What happens when everybody encourages each other into healthy eating and lifestyle habits? People get healthy and Big Pharma loses money. What happens if people offer more support, self-help and self-empowering inspirational videos, encouraging mental and spiritual healing and growth? What happens if people share educational information for free? Teaching and empowering people to be more independent, how to recognize red flags and manipulation tactics, how to read research papers. Knowledge is power, and the more powerful the people, the less powerful the government. The less need for a government. The internet allows us the opportunity to connect and optimize our lives, to be successful, to come together with like-minded others so that we may grow and get out of our limited echo chambers and comfort zones. We've already clarified that the emotionally mature can't be trusted on the internet, but we can't keep them off. We have to correct each other, look out for each other. And it's everyone's responsibility to take accountability for their words and actions. Weigh heavily on your choices because you are responsible for them. Not God, not Obama, not the Nargles, you. I encourage everyone to make their voices heard and educate themselves on the topics that they have strong opinions about for the best outcomes. As for the government, I don't require censorship. I don't need to be protected from words. I overthink and overanalyze all of my decisions in life, and I am not the only one. We can increase the level of emotional intelligence and awareness to the people the more we allow people to converse and share opinions and information and facts and hopes and dreams. We all don't like to hear the ignorance, but it shows where we need to put our efforts. Because I think that we can all agree that we all want a safe and beneficial place for everyone, at least the emotionally mature of us. Censoring social media is oppression, although to be fair, I don't give a lick about TikTok, that's why I put all my stuff on the YouTube. For now, see you there, live long and prosper.